How many substances are there in the universe? Are there 118, like in the periodic table? Are there only 17, like the fundamental particles in the standard model? Or are all these just part of one substance, like in a theory of everything? Further, are these substances just part of one substance, like matter? Or is there a parallel substance such as mind? What if mind were all matter? Or is matter actually an expression of mind? Are they two substances synchronized in a parallel? These are questions about monism, dualism, and pluralism, about substances, and about the theory of mind. Monism says there is only one substance, and it can be matter, mind, or something else that everything else arises from. Dualism says there can be any two substances. Often, dualism is talked about in the theory of mind as being about mind and matter. Pluralism says there are more than just two substances that can be matter, mind, and something extra. If we think there are 17 fundamental substances, then we're thinking of pluralism rather than monism. Here are some problems with monism, dualism, and pluralism. Monism's main problem is that we've yet to identify the most fundamental substance, and that in a monistic theory, we also have to wonder how we have free will. Dualism and pluralism suffer from interaction problems, whereas two substances can't interact unless they have something in common that would make them like one substance. Pluralism faces the added problem of Occam's razor, why should we propose having so many substances if we can easily get by with proposing one? And that, in a nutshell, is what monism, dualism, and pluralism are all about. This has been Tuesday Talks with Irene. Please join me next week and never be afraid to pursue the why.